Hello from a train that takes me to London, having been in Leeds for a few days doing other commentary for Sky Sports. And uh, a couple of things I wanted to mention this morning to you. First of all, the wider situation, the Getafe goalkeeper, uh, very good goalkeeper, who was of course a Valencia and uh, who has been uh, on the verge of the national side and who Watford, Besitkas and Crystal Palace have wanted. Crystal Palace uh, are close to signing him and it's a strange situation. Uh, the contract that he has with the Spanish Federation says that he's got a buyer clause of 8 million euros. But a day later, he signed a private contract with the club, with Getafe, in which he says if somebody comes with an offer of 4 million euros... Wait here, we're arriving to Wakefield. Uh, if somebody comes with an offer of 4 million euros, Getafe will have to let him go. That offer has arrived, it's 4 million euros plus one, Euro uh, that Palace has put on the table. So basically, uh, Getafe wanted Whiten to announce directly to the president that he was leaving, and he did so. But uh, after that, still the president is asking for eight million euros of his buyer clause. Basically, it's a, it's a non win situation for Getafe because if they take him to they take to court the, the contract they take him to court, uh, Getafe will end up paying compensation to everybody to Valencia which are getting, I think, 20% of the deal, uh, to Guaita himself, who gets 25% of the deal, uh, to Crystal Palace, uh, to even the agents. So uh, it looks like the only possible way really is for Guaita to go to Crystal Palace, but we'll have to wait on that as Getafe are playing it tough. And to Kike Sanchez Flores, he would announce today to the board of Espanol his decision. Uh, I think uh, unless he's changed his mind in the last hour or two, I think he's going to say that he's leaving and that he's going to Stoke. It's a five-year deal. Stoke uh, CEO and other two members of the board uh, went to Barcelona to convince him and they did convince him. There's money to be put in the squad right now. There's money in the future. It doesn't matter if uh, the team finishes in the championship uh, because they are all convinced that there is enough there in terms of finances and with Kike Sanchez Flores to push the team on. It looks like the most likely decision is that he actually tells Espanyol that he's leaving. Espanyol is are looking already for a replacement. Javi Gracia, a former Malaga, has been approached, but he's got other offers as well. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. But uh, decision day is today for Kike Sanchez Flores. I'll keep you posted. Bye.